Hi everybody, Caitlin here with Kate's Collectibles. It's mail day today, which means I got my pre-order of the Sailor Moon S Part 1 Blu-ray DVD combo pack. So I pre-ordered from Amazon. Amazon Canada specifically. So I know I've mentioned in my previous videos, in case you can't tell, I'm Canadian. And unfortunately our dollar kind of sucks right now compared to the American dollar. So that means that for me to pre-order from Right Stuff um, means that I would pay a whole ton more <laughs> and I would have to pay for the shipping too. So I ended up opting to pre-order from Amazon instead. This means that I did not get the limited edition coin exclusive that you get with pre-ordering, but I got everything else the same. So I did the limited edition box set combo pack. So as you can see, we've got the nice hard box here. Um, we've got Sailor Moon on the front, like in the previous ones, and she's holding the chalice, which I don't know, I guess is kind of an interesting choice for the front of the S box set. I'm thinking, I guess, I, I forget that the box is supposed to encompass both parts of season three. So we've got her locket up top there. Let's see if I can't get a closer look at that. There you go. So that's the cosmic brooch. I've done a review on the Proplica version of that. We've got the logo down the side, lots of shimmer and stars. It gets darker yellow as we go down. The season three logo, all shimmery and pretty. Very nice. And I think on the other side, we've got the Blu-ray set, we've got the booklet, and then we've got the space holder for part two. So you can just get a quick glimpse at what this side looks like there. Now, if I go back to the front for a moment, so this is Sailor Moon in her S uh, getup. Um, we've still got the same shimmery corners that we've had before, the extra little details. I like the way they do that with these box sets. It's very girly. I'm going to zoom in on her. So for the first two seasons, even though her, her brooch gets an upgrade, Sailor Moon basically looks the same except for her brooch. She gets a new weapon, new brooch, same outfit. This time we start to see some differences. So now we can see that she's got, instead of a jewel, she's got a crescent moon in the center of her tiara. Uh, she's got the heart brooch, or I guess the heart shape, I should say, on her, her uh, choker instead of the crescent moon. We've got the new brooch just below that. The rest of her outfit is the same. Obviously her transformation changes every time, um, but this part of her is still the same. I like the way they do this logo. It's grown on me quite a lot. I'm trying to find that good balance between, you know, how do you bring that, that traditional Japanese logo to life in a North American format, right? With like North American English romanji kind of lettering. That's, that's a hard thing to do. So this piece here is a cardboard backing. So if I were to take that off on the back, then you've got just the brooch back here, but it's got some sticky tack, so I, I tend to leave it on. Um, it's basically the same back on this as what is going to be on the, uh, the DVD or the Blu-ray. So we've got Uranus and Neptune featured on the back here, as well as sort of an, an information on, you know, we've got 19 episodes, uh, the Blu-ray, lots of extras, a booklet, and then room with a, you know, like a premium chipboard box sounds kind of ridiculous. It's, it's a cardboard box. Now let's see down here, we've got kind of the summary of what this first half of the season is. So we're introduced to the Death Busters, Professor Tomoe. And then the new guardians that appear. We've also got some of the bonuses listed here. So we've got an art gallery, like usual, some cast interviews, usually clear cut opening and endings, which is probably one of my favorite things on these is getting to see the new opening and endings. Uh, some trailers, woohoo, and more, ooh, more. So English and Japanese audio, the English subtitles, six discs, um, which is really three Blu-rays, three DVDs, right? 19 episodes, so that encompasses episodes 90 through 108. And 
1080p, the four by three aspect, which makes sense, right? It wasn't it wasn't filmed in a time where like you know TV shows were being done in widescreen, so it is what it is. Uh, now let's take a look at these really quickly. I may as well look at the actual set first. So there she is with her new upgraded uh, weapon. I also have done a review on the Proplica for that. Nice set. I like the look. I like the pose. I like the way they've been doing this new art. Um, similar to the side of the box. There we go. Just a zoomed in look at Uranus and Neptune and some different positioning for some of these. We've only got four of them showing there instead of five. Which one did they cut out? Oh, they cut out the Uranus Neptune because they're standing right there on the box. That would make sense. Uh, so typical for the Blu-ray packaging. Let's see what the discs look like. So the first disc for season three, we've got Sam and Moon being featured there in the pink. And just as I kind of assumed, we've got Uranus here on the blue disc and then probably Neptune, yeah, on a teal colored disc. Color me surprised. Oh, I like the little symbols that they've got going on here for these. I notice it more on hers than I did on the others, but yeah, there's Uranus's with hers. And Usagi's got all the, the moons. And then we've got the DVDs. So it's usually the inverse of the coloring. So you see her more clearly. I really like that pose. That artwork's really cute. Uranus, Neptune. And then if I try to pull out from the backing, it'll be in the art book too, but there's always this backing piece that shows the bad guys. So we've got, you know, the big Deathbusters star logo, uh, Kaolinite, the Witches Five, which is really more like the Witches Six, but it gets to that. I can't ever remember the names of all of them. Um, I remember Udiel, Mimet, Telu, and then I usually draw a blank on the others. <laughs> they were. Far from my favorite villains, and they certainly get a lot more screen time from what I remember than any of them. So I think that's a big part of it. I'm definitely looking forward to re-watching the show simply because so much of, of the villain stuff um, from it. Like, I remember the general storyline. I remember uh, the big plot points, but I don't always remember all the villains for some reason. So... It'll be really nice to get the chance to watch it again and and see what the new dub is like with these new characters on it. At some point, I'll do some videos on that kind of stuff. Now, this is the limited edition booklet that comes with this version of the box set. So as you can see, it's got that same cover on it uh, that the other one had. I'm just going to raise this up a little bit here since I'm going to be holding it anyway to show you. So we get the summary of where things are at. Kind of a, a review of everything that's happened. And then we start with the episode summaries. So you've got all of the episodes uh, summarized in this, this book. Um, so even though not all the episodes are on this Blu-ray set, all of the episodes for the season are listed in the book. You get to meet all these different characters uh, this season. You know, obviously they're, oh, the glass slipper episode. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> it's one of those episodes where um, I, I love Usagi. She's my favorite character. Sailor Moon's my favorite. But I usually, I, I can ignore her whinier parts, her, her bad habits. Um, it, it's, it's a tough episode for that where she's just, a bit of a brat. It's a bit of a two-parter, so 102 kind of summarizes that. Um, so this means this Waltz episode is where the season le leaves off. So that means that the first episode of the next part is going to be where everyone's identities are revealed. It's a, a pretty solid place to end it, I think. So it goes from 90 to 108, so that was, what did they say? It was 18 episodes, I think. 
19 episodes. So doing math in my head, um, that means that episodes 109 through one, what is it, 127? Yeah, will be on the next disc set. So 18 episodes, something like that. So very similar breakup. So then we get to the art section. So there's Sailor Moon's attack. She uses Pink Sugar Heart attack. Uh, we've got cast lists, the original, uh, some other stuff. We've got more art here. It's really cute. The songs translated and romanized uh, Tuxedo Mirage. That's pretty. So that's a bit from her upgrade to Super Sailor Moon using the chalice. So now we've got the character information. So we've got Usagi listed here. We've got civilian form, transformed form, Neo Queen Serenity version, and her super version, um, as well as her items there. Some information about her. Mercury again here. So this is one of those seasons where, unlike in R, where the the scouts, the senshi, all got upgrades, uh, that does not happen in S. They have what they had in R. We have to wait until Super S before they're upgraded to their super forms. I love seeing the fashion choices for their civilian outfits. So now we get introduced to Haruka. And her items there too. She's doing the world shaking attack. Neptune and her deep submerge attack. I really like their school uniforms. Now we've got another look at Pluto here. She's actually got a civilian form this season. And I guess if you saw my last video where I was complaining about the color of her staff, I guess if you really look, like the animation does have it a bit of this bluish purple color. It's just over here, it looks more silver. I don't know. In my head, it's silver, not bluish purple. We get our first look at Sailor Saturn, Hotaru. They've got some nice character information for Mamoru, Tuxedo Mask, his King Endymion form. Kind of interesting that they didn't show like the Princess Serenity or um, Prince Endymion forms this time, I guess, because they're really not used in this season. A little character diagram. Okay, so there we go. So we've got Kaylinite, Udio, Mimimet, Vilui, that was her name, Telu, so I was right about that. Um, and then, oh yeah, uh, p p what does that say? Pitlol? Tilol and Cyprene? The twins, okay. Some nice artwork there. Some art for Kaelinite. I don't know. That seems kind of lazy, hey? Like, same exact image, but the different color for when she comes comes back in a different way. Uh, we've got Professor Tomoe and Mistress Nine. Now, I would assume most people buying these sets have seen these seasons of Sailor Moon, but maybe not. Sometimes these booklets can be a bit of a spoiler, so I guess it's a late spoiler warning, but... You knew I was going to be unpackaging this stuff. This is a bit of a time where having that crease in the center kind of ruins the art. And there we go. So season three, part two, coming spring 2017. So sometime in the spring, the box set that'll finish off the S season will be out. And we've got the cardboard holder, much like the other seasons. Cardboard, crescent moon on it matches the color of the season set, which is yellow. So there you go. That is everything that is included in the Sailor Moon S box set uh, reveal. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you were not sure whether or not you were going to buy this season of Sailor Moon, it's one of the fan favorites. So I can definitely recommend it in that regard. It introduces you to the Outer Soldiers, which are some of the more interesting characters. And you also get uh, the addition of Sailor Saturn and Pluto, probably the most you're ever going to get of them in any season. 
So if you're fans of them, it's a good season to have, but you're probably only a fan of them if you already like this season. Now, one other thing I wanted to mention, um, there has been some information going around online about the Sailor Moon R movie coming out soon. It's going to be playing in some theaters uh, throughout North America for sure. I went online, there was a poll uh, regarding where you're located and if you want to see it and how you want to see it. So if you take a look online for the Sailor Moon R the movie uh, poll or survey, I think is what it was, Sailor Moon R the movie survey, um, take a look online and fill that out. Uh, the more places that get it, the better, obviously. And I'm curious to see whether we are going to see the R movie come out on Blu-ray before part two of Sailor Moon S or afterwards. I kind of suspect it might happen afterwards. Um, I, I was taking my bets before that they were gonna release all three movies together in one box set, which could still happen. They might be test running this one through the theaters to see if they can maybe then do the same with S and Super S and then release them all uh, to audiences in a home media format later. But I kind of think that with the money they would get for doing them all individually because they know people would, would buy them obviously i certainly would and they may do it that way as well so time is gonna tell on that one um but definitely look online for the sailor moon are the movie survey and go fill that out uh, if you'd like to see it in your area and if you would like to let me know what you think of the sailor moon s box set please comment below let me know if you've given it a watch yet what you think of the new voices as always, uh, like this video if you enjoyed my review. You can share it to anywhere you think might be useful. And make sure you subscribe if you want to see my next review coming up. Thanks. Bye-bye.